Hey there, welcome to today's video, where we'll break down the ultimate container management showdown, Podman, Docker, and Kubernetes. These are three of the most talked about tools in the tech world. In the 2025, they are more relevant than ever. If you have wondered which one is better for your project or team, stick around because we're diving into their strengths, weaknesses, and use cases. Let's jump right in. Before diving into comparisons, let's first understand what these tools are and their core purposes. Docker is the pioneer of containerization technology. Launched in 2013, it revolutionized how developers package and deploy applications by bundling an app and its dependencies into portable containers. These containers run consistently across different environments, whether on a developer's laptop, a server, or the cloud. Docker's ecosystem is robust, offering tools like Docker Compose for managing multi-container applications easily. Its simplicity and widespread adoption makes it a favorite among developers worldwide. One of Docker's key strengths is its ease of use. Developers can quickly create and deploy applications without worrying about compatibility issues across different environments. Additionally, Docker's large community means there are plenty of resources available for learning and troubleshooting. Docker also supports a wide range of platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, making it versatile for various development environments. Podman is a newer tool developed by Red Hat to address some of Docker's limitations, especially concerning security. Unlike Docker, Podman operates without a central daemon running in the background. This daemonless architecture makes Podman more lightweight and secure. It also supports rootless containers, allowing users to run containers without elevated privileges. A game changer for security conscious teams, Podman offers compatibility with Docker commands and integrates seamlessly with Kubernetes. Kubernetes stands apart as a container orchestrator rather than a container engine like Docker or Podman. It manages clusters of containers across multiple machines, handling employment, scaling, networking, and even self-healing for applications. Kubernetes is ideal for enterprise-level projects requiring dynamic scaling or complex deployments. Kubernetes' ability to manage large-scale development makes it a go-to solution for companies with extensive infrastructure needs. Its scalability and reliability ensure that applications can handle increased traffic without downtime. Additionally, Kubernetes supports a wide range of plugins and extensions, allowing it to integrate with various cloud providers and on-premises environments. Now, Understanding the architecture of these tools helps explain their performance differences. Docker uses a daemon-based architecture where the Docker daemon manages all content operations centrally. This simplifies container management but introduces downsides like resources overhead and security risk due to its root privileged daemon. Whether no containers are active, the daemon continues consuming system resources. The centralized approach can also lead to bottlenecks if the daemon becomes overwhelmed. For instance, if you're running a multiple containers on a single machine, Docker's daemon will manage them all, which can lead to increased resource usage and potentially issues if not managed properly. Podman adapts a daemonless architecture that communicates directly with the Linux kernel to manage the containers. This approach eliminates the need for central process and reduces resource usage significantly. Additionally, Podmon introduces pods, which group multiple containers under one network namespace, similar to Kubernetes pod concept. This feature allows for more efficient network management and isolation. Podmon daemonless Design also enhances security by removing a potential single point of failure. Without a central daemon, there's less risk of exploitation if a vulnerability is discovered. Kubernetes operates at an entirely different level with its master worker architecture. 
the master node oversees deployment while worker nodes run container across clusters. This distributed design makes Kubernetes unparalleled for large-scale environments but also more complex to configure and maintain compared to Docker or Padman. Kubernetes architecture is highly scalable and fault-tolerant, ensuring that applications remain available even if some nodes fail. However, this complexity requires more expertise and resources to manage effectively. Kubernetes also supports advanced features like rolling updates and self-healing, which ensures that applications are always running smoothly. Security is often a deciding factor when choosing between these tools. Docker has faced criticisms for lying on a root privilege daemon, which can be exploited if compromised. While Docker has improved security through features like user namespaces and encrypted communication between clients and servers, its architecture still poses inherent risks. Docker security enhancements are important but may not be enough for environments requiring the highest level of security. Podman excels in security with its rootless mode that allows containers to operate without elevated privileges. Its daemonless design further reduces vulnerabilities by eliminating single points of failure. For organizations prioritizing secure environments, Podman offers significant advantages. Additionally, Podman's compatibility with Docker commands means developers can transition easily without sacrificing security. Podman's rootless containers are particularly beneficial in environments where security is paramount. Kubernetes focuses on securing container orchestration rather than individual containers. Features like role-based access control, network policies for pod traffic restriction, and secret management ensure secure deployments at scale. Kubernetes also supports inscription for data in transit and at rest, providing comprehensive security across the entire application lifecycle. Kubernetes security features are designed to protect large-scale deployments, making it a reliable choice for enterprises to handle sensitive data. Its availability to manage access and network policies ensure that applications are isolated and secure within the cluster. In conclusion, there's no one-size-fits-all answer when choosing between Podman, Docker, and Kubernetes. It depends entirely on your project requirements. Thanks so much for watching. If this video helped you understand these tools better, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. Whether you're just starting out or managing complex deployments, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of these tools will help you make informed decisions of your project. Thanks for watching.